Well, Davos 2024 is also turning out to be a battle for Indian states vying with each other to try and attract investors, both global and domestic. We heard from the Telangana Chief Minister yesterday, and joining me now to talk about Tamil Nadu's uh, pitch to investors is the industry's minister. Thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. As I said, uh, it's a race between Indian states, not just on the promenade, but also to try and draw not, in investors. Not for, not, not for Tamil Nadu, though. We compete with other countries and not states. That's what we're <laughs> I think right, like, because we are far ahead of other states by in, any in, uh, in these indices that you take. Um, we also um, have a plethora of uh, sector that we draw investors into. It's not just a particular bit of life sciences or a particular bit of uh, IT. Uh, uh, that, that's, a subtle, that's a subtle <laughs> dig at Telangana. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you, you're coming off uh, the uh, investor summit that you just held in the start of uh, 2024. Mm. Uh, you're trying to get more manufacturing investors yeah. to come on board. You're trying to get domestic as well as global investors to come on board. Give me a sense of, uh, you know, the meetings that have happened so far, where you believe there is interest, where is the interest coming in from, uh, do you hope to close uh, some agreements before you leave Davos? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you about the MOUs that, that, that might be signed here. Because be, we'd want to keep it uh, low key till we get it to the uh, Chief Minister's uh, table and then we'll talk about that. But, but in um, attracting investments, uh, Tamil Nadu has been the number one state. Uh, any investor coming into working into India has knocked on our door first, our Chief Minister's door first. So I think attracting investment hasn't been a problem. It's about the quality of investment that's come through. Uh, for us, even during the global investment meet that we did now, uh, we were very choosy about who comes in and mm. what sort of jobs that, create, that are created and where those are created. See, our chief minister is very particular about the distributed growth across Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the most urbanized state, and we have social infrastructure everywhere, right? So we don't want cluster industries in Chennai or Coimbatore or just just few clusters. You know, Kanchipuram is a big cluster. But we want to take this towards uh, towards uh, south, mm. towards the uh, Delta region possibly. So that's what the Chief Minister is more worried about, not the amount of investment, it's the quality of investment, kind of jobs that it's going to create, and where these investments are going to go. Okay, so a more even distribution yes. of jobs as well as investments. And more for women, uh, particularly. I, I was going to point that out, but I'll get to that in just <laughs> a second. But you know, uh, let's be realistic. You are moying not just against Telangana, but also Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Gujarat not here in Davos, Maharashtra is right next to where you are uh, you know so so what is going to be the competitive edge uh, for Tamil Nadu to be able to get in fresh investments as well as incremental investments but the and kind any of, key focus areas you know, the kind of talent that we have across sectors I mean it's unmatched in India right I'll give you just one example we have Hitachi Energy the world's largest DCC mm. R&D center in Chennai they just opened up recently 3,500 jobs, uh, all research jobs, uh, 500 of them PhDs, and almost half of them were women. So you can't find this kind of a talent pool anywhere else in India. So that's, I think, our biggest forte. And then policy continuity is something, because with any regime change, nothing happens, the investors are happy, uh, and those who have invested have reinvested into Tamil Nadu. That's a story, isn't it? That's, that says something, isn't it? Mm. So that's the kind of reinforcement of faith that uh, investors have on Tamil Nadu, and I think that is our biggest uh, uh, card. So we can just tell the world that Look at us. We've done this, and we've done this for decades. And we're not just newbies on the on the on the. Uh, <laughs> on not the not new, new, new kids on the block. <laughs> not you, the new you, kids. We've been the, around yeah. doing this for a while. For a century. Yeah, for a yeah. century. Uh, on the manufacturing side, and I want to talk about uh, uh, what has worked. You think uh, to get as many women as part of the labour force, and specifically in manufacturing, the highest in the country. What's worked to your mind? What's worked? It's the again, it's the Dravidian model of educating everyone, getting taking education to everyone making sure that everybody gets everybody gets access to education uh, when women way back uh, uh, a century ago were not even allowed to study and we made the first we took the first step the justice party took the first step the dmk came and the dk came and we we made sure that every education was taken to the masses especially women we made sure that women doesn't get married at, uh, at an early age that the woman doesn't get married at an early age girls actually and then we made sure they got equal opportunity even today we make sure that girls who go on from uh, from college school to college they get uh, thousand rupees every single month uh, that's the Pudumai uh, pen thittum that's uh, that's a scheme that the chief minister launched every single month they get paid that and we also respect the work that's being done at the home by the homemaker mm. right we respect that and we 
tell them that we respect the work that you do. You are creating our society. So we give them, we pay them 1,000 rupees every month. And this has, has made sure that, has, has given that, uh, basically empowered our women. And I think that they keep talking about how their daughters who need to do what they had, they couldn't do. And I'd be extremely, extremely proud of that. And that is why 43% of all women working in India are from Tamil Nadu. <laughs> <laughs> I like the passion with which you yeah. said that. And, and I, I, I do believe that, uh, you know, it is an, it is a, it is an example uh, for, for us to showcase and an example for us to follow. But but, uh, you know, what's the target that you've set for yourself, not just in increasing that number, but the targets that you're working towards as far as your ministry is concerned? We, we need to hit 50 for sure. We By when? Hit 50. Um, I think we'll do that very, very quickly with the kind of uh, non-leather footwear um, workforce that we're getting in. We're getting 40, 30,000 jobs in, in, in several sectors, especially the non-leather footwear sector. It's going to take work to the rural women, right? So I think we'll, we'll definitely hit that skill uh, uh, at least by 2030. By 2030, 50 percent of, of uh, big of, task, yes. Yes, but I think doable. Uh, we, we certainly hope that it is going yes. to be achieved, <laughs> and uh, we wish you the very best Thank of luck you. with that. But you know, uh, before I let you go, 2024 uh, key milestones that you hope to close. Again, semiconductors uh, that I would want to take on board. Um, an announcement on that that'll be nice. Uh, lots of R&D jobs that'll be nice. Um, we're going to hit, uh, since our leader took over from 21, we did 3 lakh crores of investment till uh, before the gym, and we did about 6.64 after that. So we're hitting the million, uh, 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 10 lakh crore mark. Uh, we want to cross that very soon, that probably this, this month or next month, uh, possibly, before our bigger budget. Um, but yeah, what I would really want to see um, is the high-end jobs coming through, um, semiconductors, yes. That's my dream. <laughs> High end jobs, semiconductor <laughs> announcement. You heard it first here on CNBC TV 18, and you promised that once you're ready to reveal, you are going to break the news uh, right on here. CNBC TV 18 as well. <laughs> right <here. laughs> All right. Always a pleasure. Many thanks for joining Thank us. You. We wish you the very best of luck, and thanks uh, for taking our time to speak with us here in it's Davos. Been a the conversations will continue. There's plenty more. Uh, stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. We're back in a moment.